Okay, I just wanted to show you my setup here for um, basically I'm going to talk about my trolling motor batteries. I purchased uh, the two Dakota 60 amp hour. They're dual purpose. Uh, they're crank batteries too. They're supposed to do a thousand cold cranking amps, but I didn't use them for that. I used them for my uh, 24 volt uh, Ultrix, 80 pound thrust Ultrix. And um, I wired them uh, in series, basically two 12 volt in series to make up 24 volts. And basically I also added uh, a shunt that could monitor the, the 24 volt circuit, as well as it also monitors the midpoint voltage because it's got two inputs here for, for a battery and auxiliary that you can program to use it as a midpoint voltage. So I'll know what the other battery is doing as well as the whole 24 volt circuit that's hooked in series. Very uh, simple setup uh, for hooking up in series. Basically, when you do hook up a shunt, your negative, um, this becomes your negative post of, the, of this battery. You don't hook anything to that negative post. Uh, all, all the inputs and outputs as well as chargers and loads go on this it says right here to uh, the load side of minus and the farthest post the battery that's farthest away the positive from here to there you're monitoring 24 volts um, basically to make up the 24 volts you got your positive that's going straight to my circuit breaker that goes to my trolling motor and um, the negative on this battery basically goes to the positive of this battery, which is this cable here, and the negative here um, goes right to the actual load, um, the trolling motor to, uh, to give it a 24 volt circuit. Also, this uh, shunt, these two wire connectors, I have one hooked up to um, this bat, uh, the whole circuit, which is 24 volts and also went right to this bu uh, battery to monitor the uh, 12 volt battery which is going to be my midpoint voltage. So the other thing I wanted to show you it's a three bank a no cold charger which does lithium batteries and um, it's 12 volts on each bank so even though this is a 24 volt circuit I have to go directly to each battery for one bank will be charging this battery 12 volts and the other bank will be charging this battery 12 volts. Um, how that's going to monitor it through the shunt, I can uh, later check that out uh, and I will you know, post it on another video if you're interested. Um, but what I want to show you is I want to put a little load on it today. I will fire up my trolling motor. I'm not going to run it too long and, and show you how this uh, smart shunt uh, monitors it on your phone app. Okay, so here we go with the Smart Shunt app. Uh, you can find this on uh, Victron Connect and download the app. So this is what I was uh, talking about where um, you can monitor everything on your battery. I just turned the power on. Here, I'll shut it off. And you can just show all the loads go away. So there's my whole circuit, 27 volts with the two batteries in series. And this is what I was talking about, uh, the midpoint voltage at the bottom, the midpoint deviation. Basically 0.2, 0.3% deviation from the other battery, which is barely nothing. Uh, so the voltage right at this point are not exactly the same. I guess as uh, I go through some cycles, because I just put these in, and this is all uh, being tested right now. I'll turn the power on on my trolling motor. Uh, basically it's, uh, it's four, 4 watts. It's taken away 1.15 amp. So, and the time remaining would be 10 days and uh, 10 days on this battery if I left, accidentally left it on. Um, here, let me just uh, put it on like a level six. So like basically that's what I, you know, normally use when I'm using my trolling motor. I'm gonna just turn it on there. I wanna run it too long because I'm not in the water. So it's drawing two, about two amps and it's unbelievable where it still shows it's gonna last for five days, four days, 15 hours, if I just consistently left the power on like that. Uh, the draw is almost two amps, 51 watts, 
um, but uh, pretty cool where it shows all that um, and uh, it just gives you an idea so down the two days that's basically a level six I just shut it off there now to let it cool down a bit um, here let me just quickly I don't want I'm not gonna run it too long but I'll quickly put it to a, a maximum and see what happens so maximum speed uh, it's a 10 still drawing three and a half amps showing one day that's like 24 hours oh well, no it's one day 24 plus 17 anyway that's crazy how long it shows that these batteries will last uh, obviously there's no load it'll probably be a little less in the, in the water I can uh, check that and monitor it and uh, give you an update down the road thanks by the way you guys have any comments or concerns feel free to ask also like and subscribe if you like this video and um, thanks for watching.